Hello there! In this tutorial, we are going to customize the Sublime Code Editor to make it look much nicer. So we are going to start with this setup and change it to make it look like this. And I feel this is much more enjoyable to work with, because it just looks cleaner. And, well, it's quite easy to achieve, so let's jump right in. Alright, so here I am in my desktop and I have a very basic version of Sublime open. There is a script right now that says print1 and if I execute it, I get 1 in the console. Quite easy. And let me maximize it so that we can take the entire screen space. And the first thing I want to achieve is to get rid of a couple of elements. So I want to get rid of the tabs and I want to get rid of the status bar at the bottom. And all of these can be very easily hidden. All you have to do is go to view and here you can hide all the different things. So the first one, let's hide the tabs. So I click on hide tabs and they're gone. Then I click on view again and then I can hide the status bar, which is the bar at the bottom. So I click on that. And now we already have much more space. And finally, for the sidebar, I can go to sidebar and hide sidebar. So already with that, we have much more screen space that feels much cleaner to work in. The next thing you can do is to set all of this to full screen. So if I press F11, we would have even more space. And what you can do now is if you go to view again, you can also click on hide menu. And if I click on that, now the entire page is just code. So I still have my print and I can still run it, but now all of this is looking much cleaner and I can just focus on my code. If you want to have your menu bar back, all you have to do is click on Alt and then you can see it again. And if I click on Alt again, it disappears. So you only see it when you actually need it. Now there's one more thing that might be annoying you, but to see that, we have to have a bit more code. So let me insert a few more lines, and now we have quite a bit more code. And you don't have to understand any of this, this is just a placeholder effectively. But what you can see now, in the top right, there's a minimap of our code, which I generally feel is, well, mostly useless, but you can use it if you like. To get rid of it, all you have to do is go to View, and go to Hide Minimap. And now this part is gone. And now we have what I feel is a much cleaner setup that feels more enjoyable to work in. And you could leave it exactly like this and work perfectly well with it. But what you can also do if you want to customize it even further is to change all the colors and the styling. So let's go through that. The very first thing we have to do is to open the command palette. And this is a tool in Sublime that lets you install a few more external modules. And to open it, press Ctrl, Shift, and P. And then you should be seeing this menu. And what I want to do in here is to type install package control. I already get the preview. And this package control would allow us to install different color themes, for example. So I select this one. Then nothing is going to happen for a second. But then we get the message, package control was successfully installed. Cool. And now on the surface, nothing has changed. However, now I can reopen the command palette by clicking Control, Shift, and P. And if I now type again, install package, and now I click Enter, now we get an option of all the different color schemes that we could be installing. And there is a very great amount of different kind of styles in here and also a couple of extra modules that can add extra functionality. In my case, what I want to do is install a color scheme that is called Base16 Color Schemes. So I just click on it, and now again, nothing has changed. However, if I open the command palette again, now I can select a color scheme. And now we can see all the different colors. And some are much brighter than others. And in here, you can, well, check whatever you feel like. In my case, I went with a theme that is called Bay 16 Google Dark. So I just select that. And now we have a much darker color scheme, which I feel is looking much nicer. So this would be a color scheme, and this would change how all the colors look in the actual font editor. But what we can also do is if you look to the right, we can see, for example, the scroll bar. And this would be an element that is only influenced by a theme. And so far, we only installed a color scheme. So those are two different elements. 
So to change these elements, we would have to install a theme. And this happens in the same process. So again, I hold Control, Shift, and P. And I go back to Install Packages. And now I would have to look for different themes. In my case, the one I went for is called Theme Cyanide. So with this selected, I press on Enter. And again, nothing is happening. Although after a short amount of time, we get the message that the theme was installed. But that really doesn't matter all that much. But so now what I can do is with the command palette open again, I can type select theme. And now I can select different themes. And this is affecting all the other parts of Sublime as well. And in my case, I went with a theme that is called alert, which is a bit more on the red side. Although you can't really see too much of the theme, the color scheme is much more impactful, but it does add tiny details that make the entire thing look a bit nicer. But okay, let me go back to my previous code example. So I go to view, sidebar, and show sidebar. And here I have all of my code open. And all of this is starting to look much nicer. There are a couple of small things that I do want to change. For example, the size of the text, and I don't want to have this blinking text cursor, I want this to be static. And these are things that you can influence in the settings menu. So I click on Alt again to see my menu, I go to Preferences and Settings. And here Sublime is going to give me a whole new window. And in here, I can add a couple of more settings that I want to change. And let's start with a really simple one. I want to change my font size. And to change that, all I need is font underscore size, then a double colon, and now I need a number with the size of my text. And you can see it here, all of these are the default settings. So right now the default setting is 10. And let's go with 16 for now, just to make it a bit larger. So now if I press Ctrl and S and save the entire thing, we can already see that our font size has become much larger. So this would be one thing I do want to change. Another thing I would like to change is the blinking cursor because this one really annoys me. And to target this one, we need what is called the carrot style. And here we have a couple of different options. The one I want to go for is called solid. And if I save now, you can see what happens. Now the carrot or this blinking cursor is not blinking anymore, which I feel is making the entire setup a lot more calm. What I also want to achieve is that the line I'm on is highlighted so that I know exactly where I am. And to achieve that, I have to add a new entry in here that is called highlight line. Let me just spell it properly. And all we have to do in here is type the word true. And now if I save it, we get our line highlighted, which makes it much clearer where stuff is or where I'm working in. There is one more minor thing that can be changed, although that's not too important. That if you look at the square bar to the right, it looks quite large and is annoying me a little bit. But the theme we have installed right now actually has a much smaller scroll bar. So I want to show the scroll bar of the theme, not the default one. And to achieve that, what we have to do is type overlay scroll bars. And this one has to be the text enabled, also in quotation marks. And now if I save, we get a much smaller scroll bar that is in line with the theme. I don't actually know why you need this line specifically. I feel like this should be standard behavior, but never mind. And this is all I needed. Now there's one more thing that I would like to change. And let me close the settings. And right now I want to hide this sidebar. So I go to view, sidebar, and hide sidebar. But now the problem is that opening and closing this thing again can be kind of annoying. So I mapped it to a specific key. The key that I don't really know the name of, it's the key that's below escape and above the tab. And since I never used that key, I just mapped it to open the sidebar. And to change that, all I have to do is go to preferences and key bindings. And let me maximize this as well. And in here, we have all the key bindings of Sublime. And if you have this bar selected, you can press Ctrl F and look for different things. 
the one I want to look for is the side under scroll bar. And it's not supposed to be focus, it's supposed to be toggle. So all I have to do is copy the entire line here and paste it into the user settings. So all of these are the default ones and these are the ones I specifically changed. And right now we could use Control plus K or Control plus B, but I don't want to use either of them. So I'd get rid of them. And instead what I want to do is to use the key I described earlier. So if you just press it, you get this symbol. And now if I save, nothing happens on the surface, but if I close this, now I can press this button and open and close the sidebar very easily and change between different parts of my code or different code files entirely. And all right, this is all we needed. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you around.